What a Catch, Part 117, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction. If you have not heard the previous 116 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a like or a comment to show your support and help out the creator. Now then, on to What a Catch! Lila found herself on the floor of her bedroom, racking her brain like never before. It happened. That happened. She'd done it. She did that. And now she had a miraculous, a real one, and didn't know what to do next. She traced back the events leading her here one by one. The call. Yes, the call. Hawkmoth always called for her. Every minute of every hour of the day, she felt his influence over her, like a song she couldn't get out of her head. She'd almost given in this time, too, following his instructions to come to the graveyard. The power that man had over her was a step past scary. His hold terrified her. It was all the more surprising when she saw Marinette drag Gabriel Agrest out of the tomb. At first, she thought they were grave robbing, which was weird in itself, but slipping inside during the chaos of it all clicked the details together. That, and her finding his miraculous, confirmed any lasting suspicions. So what are you going to do? She glanced at Nuru, the Kwame. She'd always wanted one, but this didn't feel right. I'm still trying to process this, she said. I didn't think it'd end up like this. Well, what do you want? What does she want? Lila blinked in surprise. Had anyone ever asked that before? I want... She began, tracing through her desires. A best friend. Yeah, that's right. A friend. One who would believe her, and who would call her out on whatever she needed. A person she didn't even want to lie to. Oh, me too! The Kwame's response took her off guard. You too? Yeah, I miss my friends, and it's been so long since I've had anyone to talk to. I've been lonely. Lonely. Yeah, that was the word. She'd been lonely her whole life. What would you like me to address you as? Huh? You're my new master, after all. I'm your... What would you like me to call you? You... don't know my name. Of course I do. Nonetheless, what would you like me to call you, Master? She'd never been asked something like that before. She'd always been labeled, either by her peers, her parents, or Hawkmoth. While she directed the narrative, she never once had the chance to name herself. Speranza. Speranza? Yeah. It's Italian for what I'm feeling right now. What do you normally feel? Lila sighed and leaned back. Like I'll never be more than what I've already become. Like I'll never kick this habit of lying. That I'll never be able to break out of the trapping jealousy I feel when an honest person casts doubt onto me. And what do you feel now? Nuru landed on her shoulder, tickling her cheek by presence alone. She looked at the miraculous in her hand and smiled. This was it. This was her ticket to change, so long as she played it right. Hope, she said. In some respects, hope was all she had. Thank you so much for listening. Part 118 is on the way. I'll catch you next time.